Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi, and welcome back to the Old Testament podcast. This is going to be for 2 Kings chapter 1. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab. The Moabites occupied the territory east of the Dead Sea. They were the descendants of Lot. Years earlier, David had had conquered them and their distant relatives, the Ammonites, who were also descendants of Lot and who occupied a territory just north of Moab. The Moabites now saw an opportunity to break connection with the Israelites, and they were determined to make the most of it. Their king, a man named Misha, was so proud of the Moabites' rebellion that he wrote about it on a large black stone that has been discovered by archaeologists. More details of the rebellion are found on this stone than are recorded in the Bible. Misha recorded on the stone the account of hundreds of cities being added to his kingdom and how he built reservoirs, aqueducts, and fortifications. And that was out of the Institute Manual. Verse 2, And Ahaziah fell down through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria and was sick. And he sent messengers and said unto them, Go inquire of Baalzebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover of this disease. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say unto them, Is it not because there is, a, there is not a god in Israel that ye go up to inquire of Baalzebub, the god of Ekron? Now therefore, thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. And Elijah departed. And when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are ye now turned back? And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king that sent you, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Is it not because there is not a god in Israel that thou sendest to inquire? of Beelzebub, the god of Ekron. Therefore thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. And he said unto them, What manner of man has he, was he which came up to meet you and told you these words? And they, and they answered him, He was an hairy man, and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he, and he said, It is Elijah the Tishbite. Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty with his fifty. And he sent up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of a hill, and he, spa- and he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king hath said, Come down. And Elijah said, or answered, and said, said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from out of heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire out of heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Again, so I guess uh, the fifty were a threat to Elijah's life, or he wouldn't have done that. <clears throat> Verse 11, Again also he sent unto him another captain of fifty with his fifty. And he answered and said unto him, O man of God, thus hath the, God, hath the king said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down out of heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God came down out of heaven and, co- and consumed him and his fifty. And he sent again a captain of the th- of the third fifty, and hit with his fifty. And the and the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah, and besought him and said unto him, O man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, notice he asks him to come down gently this time, right? Not demanding. Behold, there came fire down out of heaven and burnt up the, the two captains of the. F- of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. And the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he rose and went down with him unto the king. And he said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, For as much as thou hast sent messengers to inquire of Baals above the god of Ekron, is it not because there is no god in Israel to inquire of his word? Therefore thou shalt not come down off that bed of which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. So he died according to the word of the Lord, which Elijah had spoken. And Jehoram, brother of Ahaziah, reigned in his stead in the second year of Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, because he had no son. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaziah, which he did, are not they written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? And so that's the end of uh, first, or Second Kings chapter 1. We'll see you next time. Bye.